The Friends of Zion Museum tells the stories of brave individuals who made the courageous choice to take a stand rather than remain passive observers. They declared, here am I. In the past year, we witnessed so many stories of soldiers, civilians, families, fathers that declared without any hesitation, Hineni. I want to share with you one specific story that touched my heart. Our founder, Dr. Mike Evans, met Aner's parents, Shira and Moshe, a month after Aner got killed and heard their story. We have seven kids. Our first, our oldest is Anil. Um, it's very hard to talk. He's a great person. He loves justice. He loves music. He loves people. He loves art. He makes art. He makes music. He comes from love and maybe you can continue because it's very hard for me now. Since he was a small child, he always, I mean, he protected the, the when you saw somebody in, in, a, in stress or somebody in, a, or somebody was against racism or any, any kind of uh, uh, Evil that is uh, that is so. It was always focusing on protector, yeah. protector, and a very moral uh, guy. He wrote about that. He sang about that. He he, he left us uh, like hundred uh, hundred songs that he, he wrote the music and produced music. Yeah. What was your one of your favorite songs? Do you remember it? A song about Jerusalem. From from he loved from yeah book of David. Yeah, he loved Jerusalem. What were some of the words? Uh, if I, uh, Forget you, oh yeah, Jerusalem? If I, yeah, exactly. Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Exactly. His dream was to make an album of his songs and to, you know, to spread his music. And our mission now is to, you know, to, to complete his uh, dream. So October 7th, we, we had a meal, all the seven kids, and we all sat there and we said how, how pleased we are. And after the meal, he went with his friend, Hirsch Goldberg, that is now kidnapped, to the festival. And we got there so something like uh, one o'clock in the morning. Around six o'clock in the morning. They start uh, seeing rockets in the, in the sky and they start heading to the, to the cars. And a few minutes before that, his commander called him and he told him that uh, he should come back to the base as soon as possible uh, with his soldiers. But then on the highway there, the Hamas started shooting on, on the street, so they entered one shelter and when he entered there, there were already 24 people inside. All the people there were in, in panic. Yeah. And he, he came and said, my name is Anel Shapiro. I'm a combat uh, soldier. Don't be afraid. It's, everything is going to be okay. And one of the girls there that, that survived, she said that the moment he said that, she, she shouted, Anel, we are so pleased you came here. We are relaxed. So wow. this was a reaction. So first of he all, he calms down. Trying to comfort down. them. Yeah. So comfort them. Says, I will protect. I will Everything protect will be okay. Yeah. But then they start hearing shootings coming close and they start hearing the, the shoutings of the, of the, in Arabic, of the militants. And uh, what happened is we have a, an, an amazing picture. One of the okay. survivors sent his, uh, his location to his father in order to rescue him. By mistake, he pressed the button of the camera, of, of the, of the, of the camera in, the, in his cellular and he took, took pictures. You see all the people on the ground covering their heads. Like this. And at the entrance, you see him standing, Anel. Only one. Only one. And they start throwing grenades inside. And what's amazing is, this is another gift that we got from God, that the camera from a car that was uh, outside, outside 
start filming it by an accident. You see the terrorists coming, throwing grenades inside, then running away. And you see him throwing the grenade outside. He picked Explode the grenade up in his own hand. In his own yeah. hand, and then throw it on the terrorist. Not Realize once, it. not twice, not three times, seven times. Not one, not two, seven grenades. In the eighth uh, grenade, he held it in his hand, but it, got, it, it exploded in his hand. Yeah. And then he was severely injured. And then they start shooting, and they, all, uh, they saw that they were, there's no reaction from the inside, so they called in Arabic to the people to go outside. They took out four people that are now in, the, in Gaza. Among them, his friend, Hirsch Goldberg, that his arm was uh, cut. That's the one you said went with him. Yes, yes. Yeah, his, his friend his that came from Jerusalem. Friend. His best friend. How many people survived in that? Uh, some between 10, 10 to 12 people. We don't know exactly. They came to us on, on Monday. It started with one girl that called us and said, I was with your son in this shelter, and I call you only to say thank you, because, because of your son, I'm alive, and my friends are alive. I owe my life to your and son. He stood up, and he threw those grenades back. He was an angel. This is a very, very, very powerful story about an amazing young man filled with life and love and music and gifts uh, who wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about others, wanting to help others. And we have to stand with Israel. We need to stand up against the lies of the leftist uh, Jew haters, the ones who are glorifying evil and are trying to justify evil uh, we need to stand up against those. We need to stand up and support the state of Israel in every possible way for the victims of terror, for all of those displaced people, for these soldiers who we are helping also. And we need to do everything we can. And God bless you for coming and sharing your heart. Thank you for all what Thank you're you doing here. It is my honor. A group hug. <laughs> God bless you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.